Okay, so I'm good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wash my face. I don't have time to take a shower because I gotta take Jacob to school. So I'm gonna wash my face, take him to school, then come back, take a shower, do breakfast, all of that stuff. So, whew. all right, I'll see ya in the next clip, bye. Are you giving him a hug before you go to school? I need to open the doors. Yeah. Okay, ready? Come on, guys. Come back. Ooh, the car is. Good morning. Good morning. So as you can see, number one is gloomy. Like it's really gloomy. It's supposed to rain. Um, and we're in the car. So today is the first day back to school. Jacob has been out of school for like two and a half weeks. It was the week before Christmas. He had that whole week off and then Christmas week. And then, so today is actually, what's today? Today is Thursday, January 5th. So today's his first day back. So they had a long day off, like a long week off. Long vacation, I should say. Not a week, it was more than a week. Um, when I used to go to school in New York, we had a punk ass few days off like i think like a week less than that something like that nothing um so he had a good vacation so let's see how this transition back to school and the routine goes as you guys can see i already woke up super early 5 a.m <coughs> well like 5 20 ish because i did about a half an hour of cardio I originally was gonna go walking this morning but as you can see it's gonna rain and I don't want to take the baby with me walking because then if it rains and we are like super far um, then you know we're gonna get soaked and I don't want to do that to him and this weather here in Florida is very unpredictable you never know so it says it's gonna be a little bit of chances of rain so I'm gonna just confide in that and not do any outdoor activities this morning right so I at least did some cardio this morning. So now when we get back home, I'm going to eat something because I'm super hungry. The last time I ate yesterday was around 5 p.m. So I'm starving. I had a little bit of coffee this morning. So I use creamer in my coffee, but it's sugar-free coffee. And then I put about two of the Ipu packets in it. So that's what I had and some water this morning. Um, <coughs> So I'm going to go home and I am going to make some breakfast and then once I kind of like, once it kind of goes down, then I'm going to do some workouts and then that's it. I'm going to try to attempt to film a, a makeup look, but I don't know if, um, we'll see, we'll see. I tried to do one yesterday I did it three times like I attempted it three times and I had to wipe it off the three times I um I used my P. Louise base three times and it went to waste so I was mad at that okay but today is a new day although it's starting gloomy we're gonna try and do a makeup look so as you can see this channel is becoming different um, and that's just simply because you guys are not engaging with my beauty content. Just being honest. Um, I'm just being very honest. Yesterday, I even posted something. I was posting, like, what is my analytics on Instagram. And it's crazy how, like, people looked at it and everybody stood quiet, right? Because I'm saying the truth. And um, whether you agree with it or not, 
I'm just speaking facts, you know? I'm showing you guys the interaction, right? I'm showing you guys um, everything is green, everything is a go, right? But I'm showing you guys that there's proof that the followers aren't coming. So something has to give, right? So as far as beauty content goes for me on this YouTube channel, it's a no. Um, I'm not saying that it won't ever happen. Like maybe if I do a haul or something like that. But I'm honestly steering away from it from the simple fact that no one's interacting, you know? And that's just the honest truth, right? And, um, you know, I'm going to do what I like. And that's vlogs and fitness and stuff like that. I'm not going to force myself to do beauty content because beauty content takes a hell of a long time to set up, to prepare, to do this to do that and to stop every few minutes to check on my kids you know so it's it's very difficult I put in the work and I'm not getting rewarded at all for it and that's me speaking the honest truth that's from my own experience if your experience is different then that's your experience but from my own experience I'm not getting engagement whether or not I put in the work and when I do put in the work I don't get the engagement at all so with that being said I'm switching it up and that's on this channel and on this channel if I don't get support then this channel will be no longer I have my family vlogging channel and that family vlogging channel has been doing so much better than what this channel has been doing and this channel has way more subscribers because that channel is new it's a new channel and it's crazy because it's a different language right and I'm getting so much more support from the Spanish community than I am from the English community and that's how I look at it too like they are supporting me so much there the subscribers are going up I see the numbers going up the views are incredible way more views I have less subscribers on that channel and I'm getting more views on that channel than what I am on this channel I have over 2,000 people on this channel you would think you get some views and it's just crazy like the whole what's the matter Bobby oh you took off your shoe um, and it's just crazy how it is, right? Because YouTube is just so totally different. But the point of the matter is, what I'm just trying to say is, on my social medias with beauty content, they are not doing successfully well. They are not. And that's going to be cut off because I'm not going to waste my time any longer. And if you feel different, then that's fine. But I want, in a few months from now, people to speak their honest truth like in a few months from now you're busting your ass in a few months from now are you where you want to be in the beauty community if you are not then switch and that's what I'm doing so yeah I'm gonna continue driving because apparently everybody is on first day I don't know what to do this morning everybody is confused apparently this guy is driving in two lanes he looks like he's drunk early in the morning but i'm gonna go ahead and focus i'll talk to y'all later but i just wanted to give y'all a little um fyi if you're wondering what the hell is going on with my content that's what's going on with my content okay all right bye and have a good day i'll see y'all later
hi guys and welcome back to a new vlog so in today's vlog if you guys have not seen my last like two previous vlogs i have been just rambling about what i see like in the future for myself um what i plan on doing and what i really want to do is i really want to focus on being more disciplined right um but i also want to focus on my nutrition and you know working out and stuff like that so we're in my garage so i'm sorry it's a little bit dark eventually we're gonna put some recess lighting like we did in our other house i don't know if you guys ever seen those vlogs or whatever but we put like recess lighting in our other garage and it looks bomb.com so that's what we're eventually gonna do here so i'm in my garage let me show you guys so quick background for those of you who don't know we just moved into this house in july so we've been here a few months we still have a lot of things we want to do including this garage we want to like paint it i'm still indecisive how i want to paint it but just yesterday we set up this little area here so we have like our deep freezer our little fridge my treadmill stability ball some weights and like i said i want to paint i'm sorry if it's getting dark i apologize um these have to go in the back in the shed but once I paint the walls, the mirrors will go up. Um, I got my bench over there. Like I said, my weights um, for boxing, jump rope. So here, our bicycles are going to go on the wall. We just put the TV up yesterday. So let me show you from another angle. So this is what it looks like from here. So we still have a lot to, to do, but you know, it's progress. Little by little, as we say in Spanish, poco a poco, you know, and as I mentioned before, everything costs money, so, you know, you gotta take it easy. So today, I am going to be doing a little bit of workout, but I'm going to be using my resistance bands, so let me go ahead and show you guys that real quick. So look, I'm still trying to learn how to put my lighting because filming, like, workout content to filming beauty content is two different ballparks so i'm give me a break i'm still trying to you know get there but i wanted to show you guys excuse that it's dirty but this you can get on amazon and i'll have a link down below for you guys because it's a lifesaver um it really does the job it comes with a lot of different things as you see here on the picture it comes with a lot of different things they're um a lot of different weights I think one is 10, one is 15, one is 20. No, I think it's 10, 20, 30, 40, something like that. Anyways, you'll see. But my main goal overall is to do workouts at home. So I don't have access to the gym. I mean, technically I do. I prefer to work out in the morning. Um, I can't go to the gym in the morning. I have no one to watch my kid. So my only time to go to the gym will be in the night. And I'm going to be real with y'all. I ain't got no energy in the damn night after everything I done did during the day to go to the gym at night. No matter how disciplined I want to be, no matter how determined I want to be, I just can't. Like, I'm not going to put that stress upon myself. Nuh-uh. No ma'am, no ham. Not me. Right? So I took it upon myself to start working out at home. And I want to show you guys, for those of you who are interested, of course, right, that you can achieve goals from your own house. Right? I, my goal... I want to gain muscle like I want to build muscle mass right and I'm gonna show you like living proof that you could do that from your house all right so that's my main goal also I'll do a video one day on my resistant bands it comes with a pink one as well but it's over there so you have a light one the pink one is medium and the um, purple one is heavy so it's really tight and it's really gonna work those muscles but that's for another another day but I'll also link down below for you guys as well we have the 20 pound one and then the red one is 50 pounds you have a 10 pound which is the yellow and then this one this is 30 so this is the one i'm going to be using it comes with your little straps and everything like that so that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to go ahead and speed this part because this is not technically a working out video it's a workout vlog video so let's go ahead and speed to that
me. So let me know down below if you guys are interested in like a complete workout video. I'm no professional, but you know. And I think I'll do them outside where the lighting is better, right? Um, until we get the garage situated. But let me know down below if that's something you're interested in. And I'll make that happen. I'm going to do some cardio. But I think I'm going to do it a little bit later because I want to put my headphones on. And I'm paying attention to my child at the same time so i think i'm gonna do that later so when i do that i'll record for you guys um but yeah i didn't really show everything i did here but you guys got the drift but like i said if you guys want me to go ahead and do like full workout videos let me know and i'll do that for you guys just let me know let me know all right let's go ahead and eat something post-workout okay so i'm sorry if it's a little dark um like i said i'm still trying to get the whole lighting situation and again everywhere in this house the lighting kind of sucks so we are going to put like recessed lighting in here too but i just got a package so this is from one up nutrition for those of you who don't like work out or keep up with anything about workout you wouldn't know but this is a company that i have been using their supplements for a while now I'm not a big person on like, oh my God, you need supplements, you need supplements because, you know, at the end of the day, you could probably get addicted to these things, you know, but for the most part, for a person like myself, I need supplements to at least get me going, right? And since I'm beginning this journey once again, I definitely need supplements. So this is from 1UP Nutrition, so let's go ahead and unbox it and see what we I just finished doing like leg workouts and my legs are like jello and then I've drank so much water, so... This is 32 ounces if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to leave this down below because if you struggle with like drinking water, get you something like this and just sip on it throughout the day and I promise you it's going to get better. All I drink now is water really. Um, so anyways, I want to link this down below for you guys. It's from Amazon. It's 32 ounces. I drink about three a day. Um, so yeah, let's open this up. All right. So, first thing we have is a shaker bottle. So basically in like this bottle what you do is you put um, like your pre-workout or whatever it is, shake it up, drink it, right? I got some carnitine, I hope I'm saying that right. So this basically is going to give me energy and endurance, so this is what that looks like. And I got the tropical pineapple flavor. I got a stim free pre-workout. So the pre-workouts that I have from them, um, they have caffeine in it. So I wanted to get one without caffeine because I'm drinking my coffee in the morning. And I want to go ahead and work out right afterwards. So I got this one and I got the strawberry margarita flavor. So I'm excited for that. And then the last thing we have here is kickstart. So this is new from them. I've never tried this before. This, uh, it's a wellness shot. So it has ginger, lemon, turmeric, and cayenne pepper. It's going to boost my metabolism, aid in digestion, support healthy inflammatory response, and support my immune system. So it's getting super loud in here because the kids got their tablets. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put that away, and then we'll continue to vlog later. Bye! So I'm using my front camera right now, so I don't know if the quality is all that, but I'm outside, resting. I'm in a hammock, y'all. I feel like I'm in Puerto Rico. Straight chilling. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that is what I'm doing right now. Nothing too crazy is going on today. So I'm just taking you guys along, you know, vlogging today. But nothing crazy. Just y'all seeing what I'm doing today. Today's really just working out, chilling. And that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy. I just posted some content on Instagram. Um, 
I'm not filming today other than vlogging. I'm going to do that. I'm going to film another look tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and yeah, we're just going to stay on track. The boys are back there playing. You can see them. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what we're doing now. We're just chilling out here in the backyard for a little bit. Looks so... A bit in action. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to let y'all go. Because I'm going to just enjoy the peacefulness right now.